Hello, and welcome to the second part of the fanfiction reading of The Gift No Money Could Buy by uh, Lee Kunoichi, I think. Or Le, I don't know. So, we're on chapter 5, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, you can think we're, we're looking, I don't know. Uh, we'll probably do, uh, like this part and then another part afterwards be and then that should probably be the end of the story especially with uh, the speed that i read the last one at that was uh, some relatively short so yeah some some good times so yeah we're just gonna get right into it chapter five let's go natsu's pov one we haven't seen before uh, i hear the guild doors open i see a familiar blonde walk in and popsicle stalker close behind her I have to admit, Julia looked nice today. Not saying I, that I like her, because I definitely don't. My heart belongs to one celestial wizard, and that wizard only. As he glanced at Ice Princess, he stared up and down Julia, a nervous bead of sweat appearing on his forehead. I grinned, this is going to be interesting. Hey, Luz, over here, I call to my best friend. She spots me and grabs Julia ha Julia's hand, pulling her with. Lock eyes with Lucy, and then point at Gray with my eyes. She glances at him and back at me, a devious twinkle in her eyes. Oh, I mouth to her, and she grins from ear to ear. Should my heart be quickened as the tips of my ears heat up? You like her, happy purr to my ear. Shut up, catnip, I snap, crossing my arms. He yields and rests on top of my head. Uh, Gray's POV. Not bad, not bad at all. I sat on a bar stool, admiring Juvia. She looked mighty fine in that dress. I couldn't help it. My eyes just kept drifting along her curves. I noticed... Lucy glancing at me quickly and then looking back at Pyro, a mischievous grin on her face. Lucy and Juvia sit with Natsu and Happy. I see Lucy nudge Juvia slightly with her elbow as Juvia looks up and meets my eyes. Damn, I'm busted. I gulp and quickly look away, desperately trying to hide the rosiness creeping up on my cheeks. Juvia is POV. I saw it. That's that slight blush on Grace on his face. He tried to hide it, but nothing about him gets past me. I smile slightly to myself and re-enter Natsu-san and Lucy Chan's conversation. So the plan is to make Gray jealous of Leon and Juvia at the carnival, Lucy Chan informed me with a hushed tone. Sounds good. He's already been seeing what he's missing out on, Natsu-san replied, winking at me. I blushed slightly in embarrassment. Natsu-san, are you sure Gray-sama will be jealous of Juvia and Leon-san? Leon God, I, I, uh, it's so difficult to say his name because I don't want to say it. <sighs> I asked, my voice dripping with doubt. To be honest, I was nervous, extremely nervous. I feel my palms start to sweat at the thought of just at the thought of Grey Sama. Grey Sama sneaking around in the bushes. My beloved Juvie, marry me, Leon San asked on, down on one knee. Oh, Leon San, I cannot. My heart belongs to another. I cried dramatically. That's right, Grey Sama jumps out of the bushes. She belongs with me. Oh, Grey Sama, you're right, Grey. I can't compete with the power of your guys' love. Oh, my heart, Leon says, tears pooling down his face, the beauty of our love. Yeesh. Uh, <laughs> Grey Summer takes my hand. Yes, Juvia, let's get married. Or, Juvia, let's get married and have 36 babies. Oh, yes, Grey Summer, the more the merrier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Juvia, are you listening? Juvia, Juvia. Huh? I, quite, I quickly snap out of my daze, my cheeks pink from my wonderful fantasy. I said, Leon is here. Lucy Chan squealed silently. She grabs my hands, my head softly with her hands and turns it towards the door. Just as she said that, a white-haired ice mage entered the guild. Hey, Leon! Natsu called, waving his hand. Gray, no, what? Gray is POV. Did I just hear Leon's name? I turn around behind me and see my childhood rival walking towards Natsu and them. What the fuck? Why is he here? Oi, Leon, what are you doing here? I exclaimed from the bar, Mira setting down my drink on the counter. Oh, hello, Gray, Leon, Leon greeted, a sly smile on his face. He turns his attention back to the people at the table. Hey, you never answered my... I cut off. I cut myself off as I noticed and bend down and kiss Juvia's hand. Is that Juvia? Or kiss someone's hand? Is that Juvia's? I slide down further. I slide further down the rows of chairs to get a better view of them. And just as I thought, he was holding none other than Juvia's hand. My, my Juvia, I growled to myself. I turned my head. But can you listen to our conversation? So, Juvie, my darling, care for a date tonight? Lucy told me the beautiful Magnolia Carnival. Care to join me? What? <laughs> I slammed my fist in the counter. Actually, yes, Juvie would enjoy that, Leon Sama. Juvie hasn't eaten yet. Want to go to lunch? Juvie replies sweetly. Double what? 
my eyes widened as I stared back at them, my knuckles turning white by how hard I was squeezing the corner of the counter. Do you say Leon Sama? Juvia's POV. So, Juvia, my darling, care for a date tonight? Lucy told me in the beautiful Magnolia Carnival. Care to join me? Leon asked politely. Here is certain someone in the bar slammed their fist under the counter. Ooh. Uh, just the response Lucy Chan expected. With a uh, newfound confidence in my slash our plan, I assume, uh, I decided to seal the deal and torture Grace some a little more, in the name of love, of course. Actually, yes, Juvia would enjoy that, Leon. Sama. Juvia hasn't eaten yet. Want to go out? Want to go to lunch? I say sweetly. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Grace on his head whip around at dangerous speed, his eyes wide. <laughs> I smile. Of course, Leon Sam re replies excitedly. I see Grace on his eyes narrow at Leon Sam. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking right now. Well, shall we? I ask you your leave. Oh, after you, Leon San guides. We walk to the guild hall's door and I hook my arm with Leon San's. He smiles at me as we as we leave to lunch. Ugh, Grace POV. Did that really just happen? Crack. Oops, I think I just broke the counter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Need a break. <laughs> Uh, this is getting just funny now. Oh, Lucy's POV, and so it begins. Natsu's POV, take that ice princess. Kana's POV, is Prissy boy jealous? I, God damn it, Kana. Uh, Miro's POV, I watched the whole exchange from the bar. I was quite surprised that Juvia agreed. At first I was worried about my shifts when I saw Lucy in the corner with a satisfied smile on her face as she watched Gray's reaction. He seemed annoyed at, with the thought of Juvia and Leon. I noticed his hand clenched around the corner and made a small crack in the wood. Cracks slowly grew bigger as ice seeped in. Another drink, Gray? I, smile, I asked, sweetly picking up his empty cup. Make that two, he grumbles in reply. I see him glance at Lucy, who has been watching him the whole time. She flashes him a devious grin, her eyes full of mischief. So that's what you're up to. I must praise her for such positive results in her matchmaking plan. In fact, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't come up with it within myself. Quality. <laughs> that was a good chapter there. Chapter 6, of course. Gray's POV. The guild was somewhat quiet when Juvia left. I had no one harassing me, no one making food with my face on it, no one saying they love me, and then crying because I don't feel the same. Usually I would have appreciated the silence, but now that I know she's on a date with Leon, and the fact that she's the one who asked him, I couldn't, I can't help but feel betrayed. I thought she loved me. Did I really hurt her that bad yesterday? I mean, I've done worse, right? Wait, does that mean she's finally, she's just finally ready to move on? No more Juvia fan squad? I should be happy. I'm trying to tell myself that this is for the best. But then why do I feel so empty, so alone, so, so jealous? My eyes widen at my own thought. Uh, hold on. Uh, I, I am jealous, but why? I never appreciated her before, or really enjoyed her company all that much. So why would I feel jealous now that she's leaving? Wait, no. It's not that she's leaving me. It's be... Er, it's because she is leaving me. I thought I had her wrapped so tight around my finger that she would that she that she would never leave no matter what I did, no matter how bad I messed up. She'd always be there for me. And now she's there for Leon. Ugh, shut up, stupid brain. She doesn't love him. She loves me. I'll prove it. I'll I'll get her back. No, I have to get her back. Oh man. Lucy's POV. I watch Gray from afar in my usual booth. He seems very conflicted. Wonderful. My plan is working perfectly. I feel kind of bad for making him go through pain to realize his feelings, but hey, it's in the name of true love, right? Like Juvie and Gray are meant to be. They are the only true pairing. Sure. <laughs> is that how that works? I see Gray scowl deeply, but then his eyes widen big. His hand is clenched around the glass roughly, slightly shaking. Yes, perfect. Keep thinking, Mr. Fullbuster. Fight for her. I cheered mentally to him. Um, his eyes close and he stands up abruptly. I hear him mumble something under his breath. I think it's along the lines of Juvia's whack. No, that can't be right. I want to buy a shack. <laughs> no, that's not it. Ah, he said I have to get her back. Yes, yes, that's it, definitely. He he begins to walk towards the guild hall doors. 
Uh, Oi, Gray, want to tumble? What? <laughs> Not to ask, cracking his knuckles. I have better things to do than babysit you, Pyro. Gray replied darkly as he opened the door and ran out. Not to look shocked at first, then slumps in his chair, pouting. I walk up to him. His face instantly lights up when he sees me. I feel blush coming on. No, fight it, Lucy. I feel. I take a deep breath, then lean in close to Natsu. I just want to stake out Leona and Juvia's date. Hey. I whispered in his ear excitedly. You know it! He exclaimed eagerly. Shh! I shush him, my hand flying over his mouth. All right, Sarah Dushi. He muffles out behind my hand. I smile and then walk to the guild doors as well. Then the, the fire dragon slayer right beside me. Juvia's POV. I sat down, I sit down in my seat. Leon sat across from me. The waitress had just brought my salad and Leon sat his sandwich. He, she also placed down two ice waters and a small basket with two rolls in it. We had walked uh, down to the small to a small cafe after we left the guild. There was a small kitchen that you ordered the food from and sets of tables and seats around it. The kitchen was only the only indoor part of the cafe. The seats and tables were all outdoor, which I didn't mind since the weather was quite nice today. Which would be kind of bad if the weather was not nice, but you know. I noticed Leon was staring at me out of the corner of my eye. Corner of my eye. He was leaning on his elbow, watching me with admiring eyes. He smiled softly. Yeah, Leon's POV. I mean, we're getting all the POVs. She was beautiful, graceful, elegant, absolute perfection. I couldn't help but stare at her. She seemed so peaceful as she stared up at the sky, a faraway look in her in, in her dark eyes. Oh, those eyes. I could get lost in those eyes. They were like never-ending holes of emotion. And once I look in, I feel like I'm falling. Ah. Getting lost. I smile. If only she was mine. I would make her feel like royalty. I notice her back stiffen and as her focus on the sky comes crashing down to reality. Crashing back down to reality. She stared at something behind my head, her eyes immediately lighting up. Uh, Juvia's POV. I, as I stared up at the sky, I felt a familiar chilly breeze. I came crashing down from my daydream as I noticed a raven-haired boy walking bu walking behind Leon-san. I looked closer at his face. Grey-sama? Oh shit. Uh, chapter 7. OMG, Natsu, look. Lucy Luce whispered excitedly. Let me guess, Juvia blinked. Oh, I thought this was going to be much more interesting, I complained in reply. I slouched closer to the ground, my hands behind my head. Me and Lucy must have been, have been watching Ice Pop, Stalker, and Rival for 10 minutes straight. What have they done? Absolutely nothing. This whole time, Juvia has just sat there, looking up at the sky, daydreaming, while Leon has stared at her creepily. Luz, can't we just... A sudden breeze interrupted me as a new scent filled my nose. I know that scent. I sniffed in the air more seriously. Then the scent dawned on me. I grin. So he did come. I sit up and peek over the bushes, scanning the area, looking for him. Luz pats my upper arm and points at some, something in the distance. My eyes follow her finger. Then I see him, just as my dragon slayer sniffer suspected. He was standing in line behind Leon and Juvia's table, ordering something from the kitchen. Well, I guess we could stay a little longer, I whisper eagerly, smiling at Lucy. She rolls her eyes, but then smiles back. Lucy POV. OMG, that's Gray. He showed up. Yes, my ship will happen. Oh god, I sound like Mira Jane. <laughs> Gray's POV. Finally found them at the cafe near the edge of Magnolia. As soon as I saw her blue hair, I started running towards her. As I was closing in, I remembered why she left the guild earlier today. I saw his spiky white hair. I remembered that she was on a date with him. I halted and casually walked up to the center kitchen booth. I pretended not to notice them as I ordered a vanilla ice cream, my favorite, and sat down at a table on the other side of the cafe's sitting area. I felt as if I was being watched. I glanced around and noticed Juvia quickly looking away from me. I smirked. So she does know I'm here. But although Juvia looked away, the feeling of being watched did not subside. I shrugged and uncomfortably licked my ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Yummy sweet ice cream. Hungry, so hungry. Lucy's POV. I noticed that Gray sat down further away than I wanted. He seemed to be extremely focused on enjoying his ice cream. I looked over to see Natsu drooling and licking his lips as he stares hungrily at Gray's ice cream. Come on, Natsu, you can't possibly be hungry. You ate, you just ate not even 20 minutes ago. I silently scolded him. But I am, Luz, I really am. I even ice cream sounds good right now. Natsu whined. Well, we can't get you anything. We'll blow our cover, I replied. His stomach growled extremely loud in protest. I grabbed Natsu's ear and pulled him down to the ground behind the bush. 
Alice, what was that for? Not to whine. Shh, I hiss. They'll hear you. Juvie is POV. Did you hear that? I asked, confused. Yeah, Leon's son replied. It sounded, it kind of sounded like a growl of an animal. Or not to son's stomach, I chuckle. Leon's son laughed. Lucy's POV. Natsu shrinks back because I give him the death glare. That was a close one. Natsu's still going to get it later. Uh, Juvia's POV. I felt like the humor helped break the ice. It didn't feel so awkward anymore and found it easier to actually make eye contact with Leon's son. That was until I felt Grace Sama giving me the death stare. Grace's POV. Did she just make a joke? Did they laugh? Leon's POV. She's so cute when she laughs. I want to make her laugh again. But one question has remained unanswered. So my darling Juvie, what made you decide to go on a date with me today? I asked hesitantly. Grace POV. My ears instantly perked up at Leon's question. Finally, some answers. I smirked to myself. Then Leon still doesn't know I'm here. Uh, Leon's POV. Why? Did you not want to go with Juvia? She replied, looking down at her lap. No, of course I wanted to go to lunch with you, my darling. It's just most of the time I'm the one to ask you, and you always reject me for Gray. I ramble, all my worries coming out at once. Well, uh, Juvia was hungry, she mumbled nervously, not meeting my eyes. Was that the only reason? I asked, my eyes narrowing in suspicion. Juvia pursed her lips as she met my eyes, a nervous bead of sweat appearing on her forehead. Juvia's POV. Uh-oh, what to do? What to do? Is that the only reason I hear Leon ask? His voice dripping with suspicion. Juvia is starting to get nervous. She can't handle the interrogation. She doesn't know what to say. Oh no, and Gray's right there listening. Need to help her. Not so we have to do something, I cried quietly into his ear. Yeah, I know, she's dying out there, but what do we do, Luz? I, we can't just let her know we're spying, and then Gray and Leon will know something is up. Natsu replied, his concerned eyes not leaving mine. To be honest, I'm surprised how unoblivious Natsu is acting right now. He took the words right out of my mouth and knew exactly the consequences of taking action right now. Something Natsu never even thinks twice about. You're right, I sighed. But if we don't do something, she's toast. Mmm, toast. <laughs> Natsu mumbled, licking his lips. Back to normal old Natsu. Come on, Natsu, focus, I scolded angrily. Sorry, Luce, but maybe if I wasn't so hungry, I'd be able to focus better. Besides, Juvia has to handle this herself. She's my friend and all, but we're not always going to be there for her to, with her problems. Ugh, I know, I know. I just don't want to ruin the plan. I work so hard on making these steps happen. I huff my cheeks, puffing out. Natsu smiles and puts his arm around my shoulders, causing me to blush. It'll be fine. Juvia's got this, he reassured, putting on his signature grin. I hope you're right, I mumbled in reply as we looked back over the bushes to listen. Ooh, man. Uh, chapter 8. We're going to keep going for one more chapter. Uh, Gray's POV. Come on, Juvie, answer that twit's question. Uh, Leon's POV. Come on, Juvie, say it's because you love me more than that twit. Juvie's POV. Uh, um, come on, Juvia, think, think. Who's POV? You got this, girl. Come on, Juvia. Natsu's POV. I wonder if Leon will give me a sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, the comedy in this story is just wonderful. Narrator's POV. Juvia fitted with the edge of her dress nervously while trying to think of a good excuse without being suspicious of the plan. Gray, who was pretending to not notice them, was actually leaning back in his chair, straining his ears to hear Juvia's reply to why she asked Leon on a date. Leon, who had asked the question to why Juvia finally wanted to go on a date with him, was hoping, wishing, praying that Juvia had finally gotten over Gray. Lucy, hiding in the bushes, was nervously nibbling her bottom lip as she waited Juvia's reply. Natsu, who was spying with Lucy, was staring hungrily at Leon's untouched sandwich, completely tuning out everything happening around him. He let out a yawn and slowly lowered himself behind the bushes. Oh, boy. Uh, think. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Juvia felt bad for Leon's son. I replied, crossing my arms, closing my eyes, and lifting up my chin defiantly. Narius POV. What? exclaimed Lucy, Gray, and Leon simultaneously. Crash! There was a sudden sound of a chair breaking on the ground with much force. Snore. <laughs> Not too surprisingly, he fell asleep, forgetting all about the hype and commotion of the scene laid out before him. Lucy fell back, landing on her bottom behind the bush. She wiped the bead of sweat on her forehead with the back of her head, relieved that Juvie didn't confess the plan. 
Leon sat there on his chair, his mouth gaping open in shock, his, her reply running over and over through his head. Gray, on the other hand, was so shocked to hear Juvie's answer that his chair had tipped back too far and he landed roughly on his rump, breaking the back of the chair. Then, at a hysterical laugh, he clutched his stomach. Gray's POV. <laughs> she she felt bad for you. <laughs> I choked up between my laughter. I knew she didn't have feelings for that dimwit. She can't get over. She she can't get over. Oh yeah, she didn't. She can't get over me. The owns POV. She felt bad for me. She felt bad for me. The love of my life felt bad for me. Ah, the Ice Emperor and one of the strongest Ice Mages alive. Wait, I hear laughter. Pray to Ur that isn't Gray's laughter. I suddenly look over my shoulder. Damn it, it's him. Uh, Juvia's POV. Peek one eye open at the scene laid before me. Leon's face is multiple shades of pink as he stares at the table embarrassed. And then notice behind him that Gray is on his back laughing. I also heard another voice yell out in surprise, but I'm unsure who it was. There was nobody else sitting in the cafe besides us, and I unmistakably heard a female's voice. I shrug it off. Juvia's other problems to deal with. Well, I guess I'll be going... Then, with the little dignity I have left, Leon San mumbled as he stood from his seat. Wait, Leon San, please let Juvia explain. I pleaded, not wanting to have hurt his feelings. He sighs and glances up back at, annoyingly at Gray Summer, who was wiping a tear from his eyes. He stood up from the floor, his shirt unsurprisingly missing. Leon San sits back down and looks me in the eyes. I shiver under his intense glare and purse my lips. Juvia has always rejected Leon San and has always hurt Leon San's feelings. Juvia didn't want Leon San to feel the same way Juvia does with Gray Sama. Juvia felt bad for putting Leon San through the same pain Juvia goes through. I rambled in a hushed tone so Gray Sama couldn't hear. And although the reason I told him was partially a lie, I still felt bad for him, but not enough to betray Gray Sama. I only betrayed Gray Sama this one time. But it wasn't the name of love, right? Besides, Grace Sama is here listening to our conversations. So we must care a little, right? Right? So maybe the plan is working. Hmm. Time to take it up a notch. Leon's POV. Although her answer was not exactly what I wanted to hear, I couldn't help but smile at how empathetic she was. I think I'm in love with her even more, if that's even possible. I don't think Juvie would make an amazing girlfriend. No wife, lover, soulmate. Gray doesn't realize how lucky he is. Grace POV. W w wait, what is Juvia saying? I can't hear her. Leo's POV. Well, Juvia, my beloved, I know that somewhere, somewhere in your heart there is a little bit of feelings for me, I said, flirtatiously winging her. She slightly scowled, but then her eyes twinkled with mischief. Uh, Grace POV. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he just flirt with my girl? Well, I guess she isn't exactly mine yet, but that doesn't give him the right. She's in love with me, not him. Like Leon's POV. Well, maybe... Well, oh, Jesus. Well, what? what is she planning? Well, maybe. Juvia could learn to love Leon Sama. Juvia replied, smirking shyly. The smirk wasn't directed at me. I could tell. This I could tell as she watched somebody's somebody's reaction behind me carefully. Lucy's POV. Oh, my Mavis. I wish I had a camera. Gray's face is so priceless right now. Natsu's POV. Huh? What happened? I must have fell asleep staring at Leon's food. Mmm, sandwich. Look for Lucy to see her smiling widely and a devilish twinkle in her eyes. Why is she so hyped? Last thing I remember was waiting for Juvia's rip. Ah, oh, crap. I missed it. Gray's POV. Leon Sama? Oh, hell no. She will never learn to love that little white haired. <laughs> Juvia had a nice lunch, Leon San. But Juvia would like to retire to her room now, I hear Juvia say sweetly. She smiles at the dumbfounded Leon. He quickly nods and snaps out of his daze. Well, shall I walk you home? He asks quickly in a gentlemanly manner. Such a tryhard. Oh, shall I walk you home, my darling Juvie, beloved dear honey sweetheart? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right, Leon's son. Juvie's a big girl. She doesn't need to be walked home. At a girl. But Leon tried to persuade, but she quickly cut him off again. Juvie would like to be alone for a little while. She looked up at the sky, the sun slowly going down under the horizon. Okay, or well, okay. See you at the carnival tomorrow, then? He asked eagerly. Oh, yes, Juvie almost forgot about that. See you. No, you're supposed to reject him. Ugh. Oh, well, at least she's alone now. Juvie is POV. Uh, I, I began to walk back to my apartment at Fairy Hills, a slight chilly breeze as the sun fell. I regret, regret and guilt filled my insides and remember what I said to Leon San. After I waved bye to Leon San, I couldn't find Grace on anywhere. Oh, no, what if I went too far? What if he ran away because I heard him? Cray, my love, I'm sorry. 
Oh, Juvia, how could you betray me like that? I thought you loved me. Grace Emma weeped on his knees. No, no, my darling Grace Emma. Juvia didn't want to hurt you. Juvia wants to get married and have many babies. I cried frankly. It was too late for that. Boo hoo. Grace Emma sobbed, running away from me. No, Grace Emma, come back. I woke up frantically, my head drenched in sweat and my heart beating quickly. I laid on my in my bed, staring at my door. The lights were on in the hallway. What time is it? I looked over the clock. 9 p.m. Why the hell is it 9 p.m.? Uh, I sighed and lay back down. That was some dream. I felt my heart break in a million pieces. I recalled the nightmare. I honestly don't know how much more of this is going to take. Chewie hopes that Grace Summer will realize his feelings soon. Chewie's heart can't take any more of this unloyalty. As I tried to fall back asleep, a shadow fell over the crack under the doorway. There was two knocks followed by a shh. Keep it down. People are sleeping. Sorry, Luz. Didn't mean to knock so loud. Lucy chanted Natsu san. I get up and walk towards the door. I open it slightly to peer out in the hallway to see the arguing duo. I squinted the sudden brightness. What do you want? Do you know what time it is? I asked, yawning. Lucy Chan gave me a really face and pushed open the door, dragging Natsu in behind her. Uh, Lucy Chan flopped Natsu san onto the floor and proceeded to close the door. I sighed and clicked my light switch. Joey doesn't want guests right now. Grace POV at his house after the date before 9 p.m. I laid in bed looking up at the ceiling. I knew it was later, at least 7 o'clock, but I couldn't, but I just couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about Leon and Juvia. Juvia, I wonder what she's doing right now. After Juvia said she would see him at the carnival, I ran away. I was hurt. Did I finally lose my fangirl? My only fangirl? Well, whatever. I brought this on myself. If she wants to be with him. I can't stop her. I ran a frustrated hand through my hair. I, I've always rejected her feelings, so now she's happy. Why should I pull her back into this te- into the tangled mess of me? Thought about the car- carnival tomorrow. Maybe I should just give up. It's easier than following her around and forcing myself upon her. What did she ever see in me, anyways? I was such a jerk to her. She stayed a lot longer than I expected her than I expected. But no wonder she's leaving me for Leon. I heard a knock on my door as I laid on my couch. I gradually stood up and opened the door. Natsu. And then, uh, that is it, at least for this episode, because, uh, yeah, I, I figured that we should, uh, yeah, so we'll end it, uh, next time I believe I can do the remaining chapters, hopefully, uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say, um, yeah, yeah, stick around for part three of me reading this story. <laughs>